Okay. Uh, I want to tell you a small story. Uh, one of the days, uh, my father told me uh, he wants a rock. Eh? He wants a rock to carry this rock home. Four or three. Right, that's not. Hi, I'm Ken Wilson. For 33 years, I've had a kind of accidentally profound relationship with an indigenous community in Zimbabwe, Karanga speakers in, in Majiwa. And uh, in that long period of time, I've had all kinds of different things I've been doing there. I studied as a school teacher, then I was doing my doctoral research and then community development worker. And over time, I became a member of that community, even of the uh, Fish Eagle clan, the Hongwe clan. And we've done a lot of things together, mainly a kind of action participatory research, trying to deal with various challenges and problems that they had of, around drought and uh, agriculture, ecology, really focused kind of on indigenous innovation. And it's been wonderful uh, and, and unsupported. We've reached a point now where that community is asking more from me and more of the outside world. They want to be part of this wider world. They see me as a bridge to it. They know it as an increasingly digital world. They want to be part of that digital world, exchanging more freely with the outside world, having a voice in that world. And it's for that reason, I think, that I'm, I'm saying uh, it's time to make this less personal and more public. <laughs> So last year, Abraham Mawere, one of the community leaders, came over here, invited by the University of California as a visiting organic intellectual. And you can imagine, he got his hands on a computer for the first time. And in addition, to doing all kinds of analysis of 30 years of change in, his, in, in Majiwa, he, uh, he had a look at his home on Google Earth. He created his Facebook account and started friending everybody out there in the Zimbabwean diaspora and here in California. But above all else, he recruited Robert Hickling. Hello. Oh, uh, an ex-Yahoo internet native who uh, knew a lot more about how to take this forward than I ever would. Hmm. So uh, Robert and I went on a self-funded trip to Majiwa this January and we took them their first ever portable computers, digital cameras, uh, this to a community that only really went cell phone in, in January 2010. We found much enthusiasm. The primary school spontaneously put together an all-class talent show for us to film under a giant acacia tree. We found the secondary school, recently electrified, incredibly keen to obtain and start using computers. 
and we help with that. On one special night, we generated artistic night photography with the kids. Even their moms joined in. And so many people pressed forward to be filmed on different topics they cared about. One young man, Moses Nlovu, brought particular gifts and vision. As a border jumper working in the shadows in South Africa, he had pirated music and more, but had now chosen to come home to his village. Helped by that background, he learned everything I could show him and within days was recording powerful video and images, backing it up, doing simple edits, and ready to show it at night to the community with a portable projector on a sheet. He demonstrated that sharing this footage was a powerful way to move change around the villages. For example, to show women how others across the area were now avoiding wood smoke while cooking. This campaign enables them to take this forward through their new organization, the Moande Trust. It will really give them the seed funding to, to launch something more impactful. It will take all the stories and images that, have, that they've generated and um, enable them to be edited, sorted, presented on a beautiful website to the world as well as distributed within their community. And it would enable us to complete the training and equipping of the local team. <laughs> I thank you people indeed, but I would also want to hear your comments about my doings. Thank you very much, friends, indeed. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> <laughs> For this, we need $20,000 to get us started. Thank you so much, Majita. Majita. <laughs> All right, good. I think we we've done it. We have done it. Well, and if we haven't, we can do it again. <laughs> That's a it's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> Oh.